Well, can I, let me just say one other thing because we talked about microtransactions and there's one other part of the mic, the part that the one other piece of this that is a microtransaction. And that is the transaction fee that gets paid to Holo for facilitating the transactions. So as small as those transactions may be that are being made between peers, there's another form of transaction that's being made, which is a 1% transaction fee that's being set aside by the payer of Holofuel. Um, and those are collected a little bit differently. So, so I didn't really get into the details about how, how this works because there's, there's more. Um, and, and these microtransactions do end up getting batched uh, together in some ways. And this is a pattern that we use to actually make things more uh, to optimize the network essentially. Um, so that, that batching is really important when it comes to paying for transaction fees. Because if you can imagine, if you have a microtransaction that's being paid from a publisher to a host that say it's, you know, one cent, two cents, 1% um, of that is being set aside as a transaction fee for Holo. So it, we really get into tiny, tiny increments of things. And so those end up getting batched and Holo gets to say how large or how small that batching is before we go and we collect it. And that doesn't happen as part of the transaction. So we're not in between the peer-to-peer -peer transaction in Holofuel. Instead, we have a different service that goes and collects the payments that are set aside already and that's built into the DNA of Holofuel.